This is the final review of the Piranha Super Spy Car by AMT. Picked it up for $9.99 at Ollie's Outlet and I've been using Tape Monster Ultimate Precision Mask on it. Little helicopters in the background are some things I've done with the Tape Monster Mask. And so here's the finished car. Pretty cool car. It has uh, windows, or I mean doors that go up and down. The trunk goes up and down. I had it in that bag to cure, but I had masked off the sides to paint the black and then I masked it again on top of the black and painted the green. And here's the bottom of the car. I left a lot of the chrome on the bottom of the car. I just thought it was cool, so just left it. And it added a lot of chrome to put those propellers and propeller shafts in, so it really didn't have that much chrome before, but when those went on, that really added to it. Uh, there's the back window, or tail light. You can see the exhaust in there. Not wanting to focus. So there's one of the doors open. And the lighting is pretty bad. I don't know why. It just seems like it should be a lot brighter. I don't know why it's not. But let's continue. There's the doors. Uh, the hood. And I'm not an expert, you know, I'm just kind of trying out this tape as a masking tape. You can see the big gap in the window there. Not really sure. Um, why that keeps popping up, but it either pops up a little gap there or you have a little gap here. So, um, the way I built it. I was pretty careful to get everything together good, but this thing was a tough model. There's a lot of moving parts on a plastic model. Oh, here we go. When I press the doors in, it pushes the window forward and it closes that gap. But it's just kind of a look around at the car. Pretty cool printed tires. But it's a really fun, <clears throat> fun kit to have for ten dollars. Big windows, and you still got that other window set. There's the green I painted it. Some instructions. I'll try getting it closer to the light. Yeah, that's it right there. It's the uh, Piranha Super Spy Car and Tester's green. It's a metallic green. I don't normally build cars. It's the, I just started building models again anyway. Uh, just ended up finding one one day and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to put this together because I found the model and the glue and I had some craft paint and completely made it full of brush strokes but I had fun painting that thing and it was an F15 but here's the other set of windows now this right here I want to get into this is a part on the interior I didn't end up using spent a lot of time painting the buttons and stuff but I just like the I like the dials much better I did leave the glove compartment open, but I can close it at any time because I just put the aluminum tape in there, so that's what you're seeing there. So you can fold it over and close it, but I left it open, and I left that back door open that shows a little, all that stuff he has back there. So, 
I did not put those things in the door because I figured, and I, this doesn't need any more weight on the doors. They're fragile as it is. Very fragile. But I mean, if you're careful with this stuff, it's not so bad. I find a, I'm a lot more careful now than 20 something years ago when I last did this stuff. But yeah, take your time for 10 bucks. This is a really awesome model to kind of get back into. It kind of builds like an, an aircraft because the body goes on in two halves. But then again, it builds like a car because it's got this really cool engine that's fully built out uh, with the twin turbos in it. And the turbo in intakes in the back. You got your suspension and all that. So, you know, it builds like a car, but it's a boat and a car there's a the little propellers haven't decided what to put on the back whether to put the parachute or the license plate um, I didn't put this in either the flamethrowers out the front I just thought uh, the clean front just looked way better the front came out pretty good I'm sorry y'all I'll figure out the focus on this eventually but it's a new a new phone so that's a new camera for me so yeah pretty cool uh, oh my rear wheels are stationary had to glue them but yeah spray it wait a day uh, make sure to clean it you can see where I didn't clean so good so there's a little bit of dirt under there and it looked really bad after the first coat but at the second coat it started looking better So yeah, that's the AMT Piranha Super Spy car I got from Ollie's Outlet. All built and painted up with testers paint. I used testers glue as well. And I used Tape Monster Mask. There's some other things I built, painted. Used Tape Monster Mask. That just came out so clean. That was acrylic paints that I had lacquered. I painted the gray, then, you know, thin lacquer, feathered it up, taped it, painted it again. Came out great. Uh, the windows, cockpit windows, any kind of windows, it always comes out really, 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 really good. And it's pliable in a way that tape it normally isn't. So you can get really good curves and that. The reason I never use this as a demo, whoa! It's because I break stuff. But the reason I never use this as a demo is because I have a little mistake on that. Where I thought the window was different, so I, you know, I cut with the knife a little bit too deep. Instead of scoring it, I cut all the way through. But I've learned since then, just score it and pull it. So yeah, so that's it right there. And you always use model glue because you saw that box fall on that, <laughs> that chopper. And she's still in one piece. Nothing came off. So, yeah, use your model glue to make sure you bond your parts together. And one more shot. Why not of the piranha while we're making a really long video of this? This is take two of the video anyway because the uh, the mascot decided to jump on the table and try and take out the helicopters. So yeah, that's it. Piranha Super Spy Car by AMT. It's a round two re-release. Ten bucks at Ollie's if you can still find it.